Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. Even though it was restored over 15 years ago, the outside of our 68 Mustang Coupe still looks pretty good. The only area that needs a little bit of attention is going to be the rocker panel moldings. If you have a 65 through 68 Mustang, you probably know what I'm talking about. These moldings take a lot of abuse during normal driving, and they also damage quite easily. So today we're going to show you how to replace rocker panel moldings using our 68 Mustang Coupe. And if you have a 67 through 68 that wasn't originally equipped, we're going to give you the proper measurements for adding them. We offer rocker panel molding kits that fit your 65 through 68 Mustang. This particular kit here is going to be correct for 67 through 68. It's going to include both rocker panel moldings, the rivets, and all the clips and hardware necessary for installation. We're going to show you the basics of how the clips work with the molding since it's going to be hard to see when it's on the car. Based on the way it works, this clip here is going to rivet to the body on the rocker itself. And what you do is you'll put the bottom of the molding over this clip, then you'll press down until that locks in place, and that's what holds it on. For this installation, you need a tape measure, marker, drill, eighth inch drill bit, quarter inch drill bit, rivet gun, quarter inch ratchet, nine millimeter deep socket, and safety glasses. We put the car up in the air to make the installation easier to see, but by all means, you can do this installation on the ground. The first step is to remove our rocker panel moldings if they haven't fallen off already. As you can see, at some point in time, somebody actually screwed ours on, which is definitely not correct. We're going to remove the screws and then pop the moldings off. Now you'll just pull from the top to get them off. You may need a plastic pry bar, but usually you can get a grip on them pretty easily. Now we're going to remove all the original clips by drilling out each of the rivets. Now we're going to clean the surface up before we install the new clips. Your new rocker panel molding is going to include six clips. You may have noticed we took ours apart, our car had seven, mainly because somebody added some extra ones somewhere along the line. Measuring along the seam, the first hole is going to be two and a half inches in from the edge of the wheel well, and then from there, you have 13 inches between holes. You follow our 13 inch rule. The next set of holes should be right in this neighborhood here. These holes are in the wrong places. I would guess at some point in time this fender was probably replaced. The holes may have already been there. These you can actually see were misdrilled. There's two holes down here. Instead of drilling additional holes, what it's going to do is get an extra clip and use the existing ones because they still will line up. And then the top holes all the way down are going to be 7 eighths of an inch from the top of the rock. So you're going to line up all those holes. And what you do if you don't have holes pre-drilled, drill the top hole first, put the clip in place, and then drill the bottom hole wherever it happens to line up. When installing the clip, the small hole goes towards the top, and the elongated hole is going to go on the bottom. So I just tried to put our new rocker moldings onto our clips and it's not fitting properly. I'm starting to see why I think these were probably screwed on. One or two of these is going to be in the wrong place. So at this point, what we're going to do is grab a piece of string and go straight across and figure out which ones are wrong and move them. We ran a string, and as you can see, definitely these two in the middle, a little bit on the high side. This one's close, but should be OK. But these two are definitely going to have to be moved down to make our rocker panel molding fit properly. While the rest of rocker panel molding is held on by these clips, the very front has a stud that has to go through. So what you want to do is line up the molding, figure out where to drill your hole, then drill a hole for the stud to pass through, and you'll put a nut on the other side. This little plastic insert comes already installed on the rocker panel molding. You want to install the stud, then we can install it on the car with the seal and the nut. When installing the molding on the car, you want to put it in the bottom first and then clip onto the top. Because of the length of it, it's not a bad idea to get some help. It's a lot easier to line it up that way. You want to take this little foam insert going to go inside of the nut and then put the nut on the stud. 
Now we'll tighten down the nut. You want to make this too tight, just barely past finger tight. Right, repeat the process on the other side and your insulation is finished. The rocker panel moldings really fit the classic styling of our 68 Mustang. The installation of these is a little bit on the tedious side, especially if you're starting from scratch, but take your time, make sure your measurements are accurate, and you'll be back on the road in no time.